To add and subtract polynomials, you need to look for terms, like terms, and just simply add their coefficients. If the polynomials are being added together, the parentheses absolutely mean nothing. And if they're being subtracted, you have to change the sign. So the biggest thing that people miss on these questions is simply not changing the signs when they need to. I have very few example problems to go through with adding and subtracting, okay? Um, again, remember that like terms are terms with exactly the same variable um, piece, the same, same variable component. That's letters, exponents, everything. So in this first example, our like terms would be our x to the thirds, which positive and negative 6 would cancel out, so that would give me zero of those. And then I have a 3x squared and an understood 1x squared is 4x squared. And my constant term has nothing to be combined with, so it just comes down. <coughs> I am not particular about order. I don't care what order the answers are in. That's not really important to this. It will be in the next chapter. Order is important. Um, so whatever you want makes me no difference. Okay. Um, this is where I was saying when I'm adding these two polynomials together here, that since they are being added, this polynomial added to this polynomial, with the addition sign there, the parentheses mean nothing. So ignore them completely and just collect your like terms. Positive 3 and minus 7. Those are alike. Those are my x terms, negative 4x. Minus 7, positive 15 is positive 8y. And then 9 minus 2, positive 7. When I am subtracting, though, and we've made these mistakes already in what we have done uh, with our distributive property so far, uh, so let's reiterate the fact that this minus sign goes to this entire group, which means that really you're distributing a negative one when you subtract. Uh, I tend to be a person who rewrites things when I have a minus, so I would personally rewrite it. That's not necessary. Um, I'll show you what else you else could do uh, in a second here. So I would distribute my negative, my signs of everything inside change to the opposite, and now add 13 minus 7, positive 6x, and then 4 plus 1 is 5. Um, some people just do this. Uh, I'll, so I'll show you what I've seen. I don't really care. I don't have a preference. Just so you do it right. Uh, they change this to a plus, and then that to a minus, and then that to a plus. So they change their signs, write in the parentheses, and they just make it basically an addition question. Okay? So you don't have to rewrite it. I tend to be that kind of person as a math student uh, myself, so I would rewrite it, but not necessarily. Okay? So that's why I had it there. So that's going to be up to you. Okay, my next one here has an addition and a subtraction in it. An addition and a subtraction. So the first parentheses, nothing is changing. 7x squared y minus 8xy squared. In the second parentheses, nothing <coughs> is changing. So the signs are the same. Minus 5x squared y plus xy squared. But then here I have my subtraction. So yes, those signs are going to change. It would certainly save some time not to rewrite this one. So don't feel like you have to by any means at all. Look carefully. x squared y, x squared y, x squared y. So positive 7 minus 5 is 2, 2 minus 11, negative 9, x squared y. And then my xy squared, negative 8 plus 1 is negative 7, 7, negative 7, plus 9 is a positive 2. And then using that concept to solve an equation, when you're distributing your negative or subtracting a quantity, 
first parentheses would not change because there's no minus in front. Here I do have a minus. So that would become minus 11x plus 12 equals 19. So again, using that subtraction of a polynomial within an equation, and we finish solving. 9 minus 11, negative 2x. 5 and 12, 17 equals 19. Subtract 17 and negative 2x equals 2. And divide by negative 2 and x is a negative 1. Anything you want to add or question, maybe go back through about adding and subtracting, but it's not going to get any harder than that with adding and subtracting. The key, once we get this all mixed up, rules one, two, and three, um, is knowing that you're adding and subtracting. So, for example, when you see this question, once we learn the multiplication, is that you're not boiling that. This is not a multiplication question. This is a subtraction question. Um, so sometimes that's the, not the hardest part, but the part people don't distinguish is what kind of question is it. Okay. So anything about the adding and subtracting? Yes? Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to 